Hello, my name is Murad Larbi. In this tutorial, we'll see how to code Timpson's one-third rule. This method is used to find the integral of a function f of x along the uh, domain from a to b. So we divide the uh, area under the curve to vertical divisions or vertical strips, and each division has a point which is called an integration point. So the first integration point is x sub 0, which is equal to a, uh, the lower limit of integration, and we have uh, up to x sub n, which is equal to b, the upper limit of integration. The divisions are equal in width, which, has which is named as h, or called the step size. So the step sizes uh, are all equal in order to ease uh, or to make the computation easier. Now, we can compute the area by using Simpson's one-third rule according to this formula. This formula is the weighted average of every two divisions or every two successive uh, strips. So here we consider the first and second strips, for example, as uh, uh, has the, uh, both have the area of one third h multiplied by f of x sub zero, the uh, value of function at the first division, plus four f x one. So here we multiplied the height of this uh, vertical line or the uh, value of the function at the uh, middle uh, integration point by 4 and this is the weight which is given to this point because uh, the integral is considered more accurate about this point and finally we add the f of x sub 2 or the uh, integral at or the value of uh, function at the uh, uh, final or uh, the, the uh, third uh, integration point of these two adjacent uh, areas and so on we take the areas two by two two by two until we get to the last uh, pair of uh, strips thus the number of the strips should be even here it will be should be even that means because they are must go two by two now the total area is equal to the summation of the every two successive areas individually so we need to formulate a general form based on this equation so here we sum every two strips from first two strips to the last ones so by combining the terms which have uh, similar multipliers so here for example we have f of x sub o multiplied by 1 and here f of x sub n multiplied by 1 also so we can combine these two also we can combine those multiplied by 4 and those which can be uh, added to each other because there are repeated terms here so finally we can get this form so this form by taking of course one third as a common factor we get uh, two terms multiplied by one and summation of terms multiplied by four we notice here the subscripts are odd which are multiplied by four and the subscript here uh, of uh, of x's are even of the terms which are multiplied by two actually in coding we don't need to use the uh, subscripted variables or arrays because we can express any uh, integration point uh, in terms of the uh, uh, lower limit of integration plus the corresponding uh, width of the strips up to that point 
So for example, we have x sub 1 is uh, located at the point A plus H. The uh, point x2 is uh, located at the point A plus 2H. So also we can notice that there's a, there's a direct relation between the subscript and the value multiplied by H and so on. So here we can create a general formula depending upon the summation of the odd terms and the even terms and the first and last terms of the uh, upper uh, floor and upper limits of the integration. And again, we emphasize on that the number of divisions must be an even integer and the summation for loop increments should be uh, 2. Here let's code or let's create a code uh, by uh, uh, MATLAB or uh, uh, Octave in order to solve uh, this uh, problem. We have analytical integration value which is equal to 1 in order to be sure that our MATLAB or Octave program is uh, correct. So let's go to our editor and start uh, coding this problem. So we define the function. We define the uh, lower limit of integration. We define the upper limit of integration. We define the number of division. It should be even. So we can select, for example, number 18 divisions. We can here compute the value of h, which is equal to span the, of the domain divided by the number of divisions. And we can start our summation by the first two values, because when you go to uh, the formula here, you see in the formula that we have the two values here. So we can start with summing them. So f of a plus f of b. And then we start our for loop for i equals to 1 to 2 up to this is n uh, the step size is 2 because it should be uh, odd numbers to n minus 1. And we can say s equals to s plus 4 multiplied by f of a plus i multiplied by h. So this is the first loop. The second loop for i equals to uh, 2, step 2, up to n minus 2, according to the summation, s equals to s plus 2 multiplied by f of x, uh, sorry, a plus, again, h. And finally, the integral is equal to 1h over 3 multiplied by s. Now, not, let's run the code and see, okay, exactly, you see in the window that we obtained the solution correctly. So this is the code of Simpson one-third rule. Thank you for listening.